Welcome to Fashion Sense. <laughs> I'm Jen Burton, fashion designer, stylist extraordinaire, and I am going to be your host. <laughs> so I had all of this wonderful, hyped up uh, introduction to tell you about my background and all this cool stuff I've done in the fashion industry. Um, but I thought it would be way better to tell you the story of how I got ready for today. Um, I was desperately searching for an outfit uh, to wear for uh, today's gig, and I found myself at TJ Maxx. I'm an official Maximista now. Um, and I ended up in the dressing room uh, trying on some shapewear. And apparently, I was in the wrong size shapewear. And I ended up shimming my way most of the way in and realizing that I probably should have gone a size up. And um, <laughs> basically, ended up getting stuck. And um, <laughs> but <laughs> Much to my chagrin, I was alone, and um, to everyone, like everyone's horror around me, um, because obviously they didn't know what was going on. As I was like fighting around, you know, like contorting my body, and I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried to get out of shapewear, but <laughs> it's it's quite it's quite the uh, torture device. Anyway, lo and behold, I made it here alive. <laughs> um, I'm sharing, this, I'm sharing this story with you because I think everyone has these misconceptions about working in the fashion industry. Um, I obviously have body issues, just like everyone else sitting in this, uh, in this audience. Um, I have done some really cool work with Vogue and some neat celebrities, but at the end of the day, I'm just like everyone sitting in this audience. Um, so I hope that what I give to you today is going to be useful and you guys can walk away with some kernels of wisdom, but um, I really want to be, I really want to be um, relatable. So hopefully you guys can laugh with me, laugh at me, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I got out of the shapewear. Let's take that away. <laughs> was 14 I found a note in my locker that said um, why don't you just kill yourself because nobody likes you I think it was like a line from a movie or something at that point and someone thought it would be funny to leave that for me I used to get phone calls in the middle of the night people saying mean things and my poor mother every time the phone rang you know you don't think someone's paying a prank, call, a prank phone call you think someone's dead someone you love is hurt so she went through a lot with me through that um, all I remember <laughs> is knowing that what I wanted to do was be an actor and that if I had that I could just keep going and no matter what anybody said I had a dream and I had something that mattered to me so that's really what got me through it all and you know I found that you know now I'm doing what I do love and uh, despite all of those instances where people made me feel less than um, I now have a better understanding of humanity in a way um, I can now be a friend to the lonely so just remember that uh, it gets better if you're feeling alone confused or in crisis please call the Trevor Project at 1-866-4-U-TREVOR for immediate help or log on to the trevorproject.org if you want to find out ways to help create safe spaces in your school, log on to glsen.org, glisten.org. Remember, it gets better. With our Shop Your Way Rewards from Sears, we were able to purchase Craig this excellent multifunctional training device called the BOSU for under $100. So BOSU, in your workout program, for under $100, bucks, 
Check it out at Sears. I like this. Okay, we're back. Um, and I'm going to take you all home with me. Um, now we're going to learn how to dress for our bodies. And to start that, we need to know our measurements, which is going to help us decide what our body shapes are. So, everyone, there are measuring tapes interspersed within the audience. And if I could have my lovely assistant, Danielle, come up and be my volunteer or guinea pig. <laughs> Um, I'm going to walk you guys through this. Um, if you want to start, we're going to measure the bust. Actually, I'm sorry, I lied. We're going to start with measuring the shoulder. You want to measure at the widest part of the shoulders, or the apex. So Danielle's... What is Danielle's? 38. 34, at the apex of the bust. You want to measure at the tiniest part of the waist. It's usually two inches above the belly button. We won't tell Danielle's waist. It's very small. <laughs> it's very discouraging for us all. And then you want to measure at the, 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 basically the apex of the bum. Again, very discouraging for us all. Get off stage. <laughs> all right. Once we know our measurements, then we can help determine um, our body types, which we will be going over next. Um, I'm actually going to ask for a few uh, brave volunteers um, who are going to go back and kind of have an ambush makeover. So if, if you guys can raise your hands, any volunteers? Oh, I love you guys. Thank you. All right, if you guys want to just go on head back. Our, uh, our beauty team will go ahead and take those measurements to help you determine what your body type is and then dress you appropriately. All right, so everyone who's left here with me, sorry, um, I'm going to help you determine what your body type is and then um, walk you through how to dress appropriately for that body type. Um, all right, so body types, perfect. <laughs> um, we all have our measurements, so this is going to, um, I want you to refer to those measurements when we're looking at this graphic. Um, if you look at that measurement and you're 5% bigger on top, um, you are going to be what we call an inverted triangle. Now, the, there's tons of different um, body charts out there, as I think all women know. We see these in every glossy magazine. Um, so I, I've looked at them all. You can be an apple or a pear and Probably for the guys in the audience, you have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> but I like, I, I like this, I stand by this chart because A, it's simple, and B, it's very, uh, it's basically scientific. We're going by the numbers and it really, it makes things easy. So if you're 5% bigger on top or more, you're going to be an inverted triangle. If you're 5% bigger on the bottom, you're going to be a triangle. If you're if you're um, if you're equal or you know pretty much equal for five percent or less you're going to be a rectangle or straight um, or you're just very thin aka runway models <laughs> or, or our lovely Danielle you'll be what we call a rectangle um, or <laughs> or an hourglass figure, which is also known as proportionate. Um, and again, I know I'm running through this stuff really fast. I'm not expecting you guys to take notes. Um, all of this stuff can be found on my website, jbstyles.com. Call me directly. I don't answer all the time, but I'll be, ha be happy to get back to you. Um, but yeah, jbstyles.com is also widely available on the web. Um, so once, we, once you have decided what your body type is, um, now we really have the tools to help you dress appropriately for your frame. Um, sorry about that. Little bunny running by. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Where did that go? Okay. So, we can't build a house 
without having a strong foundation. I never thought, thank you, that is what I was looking for, um, and it's not coming with me. I never thought I would say this, but I am a huge advocate of bras. Um, I spent a ton. <laughs> I spent. I spent a ton of my life in women's closets, um, and nobody spends enough time on bras. Um, it's it's hugely important. I mean, would you build a house out of Jello? No. So you, why are you going to build your house out of anything but the best? So foundation garments are hugely important. When we come back. We're going to talk about how to pick the correct foundation garments, how to fit you correctly, and what you really want to look for when you are buying them. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Will Arnett. Hi, I'm Suzanne Summers. Hi, I'm an actor. You should listen to me. 85% are the, under the... Yeah, it's funny. It's good. Sorry. I know what you're thinking. Oh, they're going to ask me for money soon. Just keep watching. You want to get racked in the nuts with some stats? Here we go. Malaria kills more than 2,000 kids a day. Still interested? Nice. You're a good person. A simple $10 mosquito net can protect a child. Hitting you up for money in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Text the word NET to 85944 to make a $1 million donation. Malaria no more. What's that? Oh, it's only ten dollars. It's only ten dollars. <laughs> Messaging and data rates may apply. Let's make malaria no more. If malaria was a person, I would kick them in the face. Hi, I'm Andrea Metcalf. You know, if your dog is getting fat, you're not getting enough exercise. With the people and pet obesity rates these days getting well over 60%, it's time to start to do something. That's why I've created Paws Pilates. Pilates for you and your best friend. This is Wrigley. These exercises not only work your waistline, but they give you time to spend with your canine. Remember to exercise, energize, and engage with your best friend with Paws Pilates. Before you start this or any other exercise program, please see your doctor. And remember, not every move is meant for every dog or every person. Have fun, and let's get started. All right, so the bra. Guys, I know you're excited about this segment. <laughs> your, wo your woman will thank you. Um, OK, so all the ladies out there, I want you to do me a quick, a quick favor. Feel on the sides of your underwire. Are they touching bra or are they touching breast tissue? Are they touching regular uh, just armpits. armpits? All right, your bra, <laughs> your bra is fitting correctly. Is the uh, is the placket laying flat on your chest? My Anyone? Is flat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the placket should be laying flat, raising or lowering your arms. Are the straps falling or are they? If the straps are falling, it's another indicator your bra is ill-fitting. So those are, two, those are three quick ways to kind of give yourself a check on how your bra is fitting. Oh, the last one. Can you fit one to two fingers under your band? That's how the band should be fitting. If you can fit any more, or if you can't fit one to two fingers in, your bra is too tight. These fingers are um, <laughs> Your own. <laughs> um, okay. So another thing, have you replaced your bra within six months to a year? Tons of women go without new undergarments. I think that my, the world record of not replacing uh, a bra was eight, nine years, I think maybe would be the world record. Um, so the reason you want to re replace your bras is the elastane inside them doesn't work anymore. So you're, you're really doing a disservice not only to your silhouette, but to really the back and your posture. Um, so really it's a health issue. Um, so A, you want to make sure the fit is correct. 
B, you want to make sure you're maintaining your bras. Um, a couple, another couple quick tricks. Um, you want to alternate. I'm not saying you guys should go out and buy six to eight bras because Lord knows they're expensive, but go out and buy two bras and alternate them. Um, make sure you hand wash them. Don't use Tide. There's a chemical in there that deteriorates the, fat, uh, the elastane. It actually eats away at them. A lot of people don't know that. So either buy, <laughs> I see a couple of faces in the audience. Um, so either buy lingerie wash or um, there, you can use Dove, another soft uh, detergent. All right, <laughs> when we come back, we'll talk more about dressing for your body shape. online and watch video content or rather come down to Chicago's downtown and be part of a live studio audience then we need you we need your voice we need your tweet we need your input in fact we need you to be involved with today TV live today TV live is a live streaming live audience social media engaged concept where you get to be part of the action we want your voice and we want you there so if you're interested tune into today TV live.com and get involved it's an experience you won't want to miss. With our Shop Your Way Rewards from Sears, we were able to purchase Craig this excellent multifunctional training device called the BOSU for under $100. So BOSU in your workout program for under 100 bucks. check it out at Sears. Hi, I'm Will Arnett. Hi, I'm Suzanne Summer. Hi, I'm an actor. You should listen to me. 85% are under the... Yeah, it's funny. It's good. Sorry. It up. I know what you're thinking. Oh, they're going to ask me for money soon. Just keep watching. You want to get racked in the nuts with some stats? Here we go. Malaria kills more than 2,000 kids a day. Still interested? Nice. You're a good person. A simple $10 mosquito net can protect a child. Hitting you up for money in five, four, three, two, one. now. Text the word NET to 85944 to make a $1 million donation to Malaria No More. What's that? Oh, it's only $10. It's only $10. <laughs> Messaging and data rates may apply. Let's make Malaria No More. If Malaria was a person, I would kick them in the face. With our Shop Your Way Rewards from Sears, we were able to purchase Craig this excellent multifunctional training device called the BOSU for under $100. So BOSU, in your workout program, for under $100, check it out at Sears. I'm so excited. Now we get to bring back our audience members who were so brave and who were, <laughs> who were uh, visiting our beauty team backstage. And we are going to see their transformations. So let's welcome the girls back in. Thank you for a round of applause. <laughs> Woohoo! You guys look fabulous. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Um, first, I'm going to kind of walk through, um, well, I'm just realizing um, I can't do that right now. So um, I'm going to talk about their body shapes and their silhouettes. Um, lovely Erin. Um, <laughs> she is a little bit bigger on top. She. <laughs> <laughs> she has a, a lovely bust. And so what we did, what, <laughs> um, what, what we did, uh, what we did is we um, balanced her form out with this A-line and then we cinched in her waist with a belt. So we really are creating this hourglass figure. Um, that's really our goal always with the female form is we want to create this hourglass. Um, and then again, we, we took in um, the necklace, it, just exaggerating that V and bringing attention back to her lovely 
Uh, Instead of right here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, Erin. Uh, Ashley, please come forward. <laughs> I love, I love the hair. I love the streak. <laughs> All right, Ashley is, has a beautiful sweetheart neckline, which really opens the chest and is extremely flattering on almost any silhouette. Um, again, we are bringing uh, emphasis on this waistline. It's a great trick on any body type. Um, and then with the circle skirt, that it really is flattering. Um, I'm sorry, we didn't. I, I'm, I didn't identify your your body shape. She is actually a little bit smaller on top, so she is actually um, an inverted triangle. Um, but I, I mean, those names are so silly. But it's the best way. <laughs> it's the best way to identify. Um, but thank you so much, Ashley. And remember belts. They should be every girl's best friend. All right, lovely Shayna, come on down. <laughs> again, see the belts. OK, so again, we have a sweetheart neckline. And for those of you who don't know what a sweetheart, sweetheart neckline is, it's when this, it does kind of a scalloped thing. Um, this is a beautiful dress with um, a die cut, which so you can kind of see the white peeking out from underneath. And then it has a really great detail at the bottom. Shayna is also a little bit heavier on, uh, a little bit bigger on the bottom. No, she, okay. she, no she, you have a beautiful figure that I would die for. <laughs> um, but what this does is this gives her a great silhouette, and it doesn't really, um, it doesn't emphasize that you know she's bigger on the bottom. It's proportionate. Um, and then again, the belt is just emphasizing the waist. And I'm so sorry, the nude pumps, which all of our ladies are sporting, are the best trick in the book. They elongate the legs. A pointed, pump, a pointed toe just exaggerates, it keeps the line going, which is always what we want to do. We always want to elongate the form. And then last but surely not least is Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> And this beautiful navy dress, Lisa is sporting um, a great empire waistline, um, a, a high neck. Um, what what were your pro do you do you know what your measurements were? Um, they're usually thirty, twenty six, and then thirty five. Okay, so you're bigger on the bottom, which this is. And do you agree with that? I'm always curious. I'm always curious to know if if people agree kind of with what the um, with what the numbers say um i feel smaller on top than i am okay on okay well you also are super tiny so you have that going for you but but what the, what this is doing is this is hitting you in a great place so it's again just elongating the form the nude pumps are doing great things for elongating your leg. You are a little petite in stature. You're probably five, six. Um, and then you're, you have um, a, a smaller bust. <laughs> so so this, is kind of, this is kind of giving the illusion of this, this pleat right here is kind of giving the illusion of, of, a, <laughs> of, a, of a larger bust. <laughs> uh, so what I love, what I'd love if you guys could sit down and I, if I could kind of ask you guys a couple questions now, since you guys were so kind to volunteer for this. Um, if you guys could just put the mics on. OK. Um, so, so I'll start with you, Erin. Um, since this is, a, this is really a, 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 the idea of the show is really dressing for your body type, what, what do you struggle with most when dressing? Um, I have two things that I struggle with. The first is the large bust, and the second is the lack of a waist. Okay. I'm good with my legs. Because <laughs> they're great. <laughs> how do you, how do you, what are your strategies for, for, for dealing with that? Um, I think I make a mistake a lot of times by picking U-shaped tops, and it actually makes right. my chest look bigger and draws too much attention to it. And then also, um, I try to do things that and I don't mean to, I don't mean to interrupt there. Do you know why that is? 
No, I don't. Okay, because <laughs> you're adding actually more fabric there. So what, what you want to do is you actually, you actually want to balance your form and you want to add you want to add more fabric here so because okay. you because you're bigger here you want to add you want to add a little more f fabric and depth here okay so I don't know if you caught that diagram but you you want to kind of balance your figure here right. so sorry let's let's okay, pass it down really quick thank, thank you, you so much for that <laughs> so what, what about you what are your biggest struggles with well, obviously, I'm a plus size figure, so. But you look great. Well, thank you. So just finding something that works for me and doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing a moo, uh, something that yeah. gives me shape, something that I'm makes so me sorry. I think we'll, we'll be right back. I, thank you so much. We'll be right back. <laughs> much of what we learn in this world comes directly from you. Whatever your message is, it will become part of us forever. Please teach us to accept one another. Teach us to respect one another. Please, do not fill our minds with hatred. Do not expose us to bigotry. Do not teach us to judge each other by race, religion, orientation, or the color of our skin. Teach us the concept of tolerance. Teach us to understand one another. Teach us to accept people of different cultures and persons with different beliefs than yours. Please help us to create a world where every man, woman, and child is treated equally. Dear parents, please don't teach us words of hate. We learn from you every moment. If you use a certain word which might be hurtful to others, we will repeat that word. Please don't show us acts of hate. If you act against people of different faiths, we will repeat your actions. Dear parents, we are your children and we are relying on you to help us create a world where every person is tolerant of one another. <laughs> okay I'm so sorry to interrupt you and I totally get like I, I'm a plus size and so I totally get that and it's so hard um, so yeah I I get that but you look great we all look great don't get stuck in <laughs> shapewear because that's a nightmare <laughs> um, what about you Shayna um, well I think that basically my hips are a little bit larger and I have a very high waist so a lot of times pants don't fit me. So I tend to go more towards skirts and I don't know, I kind of get lost in what shape of skirt I should be wearing just to, you know, de-emphasize my hips but just keep it balanced on top. Yeah. I think it's hard too because you're tall, so right. that that's a struggle for yeah. you. Um, and and you? Um, I have an issue with my shoulders. I feel like I'm a linebacker half the time. <laughs> yeah, and what I would say for you is that um, I would also, again, suggest going with an A-line or a fuller, a fuller skirt. Again, you're going to balance that form. And then really belts are going to be a good asset for you because you, again, want to create that hourglass figure. Um, so I want to thank you guys so much for coming up and volunteering because I know that's a super hard thing to do. And I want to thank you for being a part of Fashion Sense because this is so exciting and it's a pilot. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for being such an awesome audience <laughs> and a start of something exciting and new. And if you want more information or you want to follow me, tweet me at jbstyles.com or come visit me at jbstyles.com or call me at jenburton.com. <laughs> Probably not going to give out my phone number, but you can find me, jbstyles.com. Um, I had a great time. I want to take you all home with me. Uh, remember, next time you're struggling with what to wear or something isn't looking good, remember, what would JB do? What did she say? Remember your fashion sense. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Hopefully I see you again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Give me hugs! <laughs>